Roy, how's everyone doing? Good, I hope you know. Yeah, the Atari VCS is awesome, you know. And uh, a, a bunch of new games have just uh, arrived on the Atari VCS star, you know. Now, I haven't played them all yet, because uh, I've, I've, I've literally just bought them, you know. But a whole bunch of games, right? Starting with um, Game Panic 3, right? Now, this is made by John Hancock, uh, the, the YouTuber, you know. Now, I, I haven't played the game yet, but it's awesome that's on here, you know. And uh, the, uh, the games are fairly cheap, around two ninety nine in in the uh, in the Atari VCS star, you know. So, yeah, John Hancock made uh, Game Panic 3. And uh, this is his third game. On the Atari VCS, uh, the um, I'm just gonna go to the star, you know, and uh, yeah, so there's there's a uh, 125 games on the Atari VCS star, more coming, like, you know. So these are the new games. You have uh, ZB ZPH the game, uh, Strike Zone 2600, RT 7800, XO 7800. Now I believe. Um, those two are from Muddy Vision, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, Muddy Vision. Uh, uh, now they did Tour Tracks 2600 and Daredevil 2600, you know. So, yeah, so this one is 899 and uh, pre, uh, RT7800. This is um, Muddy Vision as well, like, you know. And uh, pretty awesome. Uh, now I, I haven't played the games yet because I've just literally just got them. Eight ninety nine for this one as well, and it uses the the Atari VCS Classic Joystick or the the Atari VCS Modern Controller. Strike Zone uh, twenty six hundred. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. Like, like a bowling game, we we imagine you know. Um, and we have this one ZPH the game. Now this is Atari Age, so this is from Atari Age. Atari, uh, uh, uh bought Atari Age. This is an Atari Age game. Uh, zero page homebrew the game. That's what ZPH stands for. And it, it's a two player game. It's only a euro, so can't go wrong with that, league, you know. Now I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know. I'm actually I'm gonna play the games now in a second here. So this one you you use the Atari VCS. Uh, joystick and a controller you know so yeah the Atari VCS you know it's getting more and more games you know from indie devs Atari age Atari themselves you know uh, you have a, a, a haunted house which is awesome in my opinion uh, this is the latest game from Atari uh, brilliant in my opinion uh, you have Ultra Mission which is sort of like a berserk uh, only till 99 so like the games just keep coming you know Superstar Shooter 16 which is awesome. Plant Defense Force. I mean, simple light cycles. So the games just keep coming, and it's awesome. Um, uh, so brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, now uh, I'm gonna start with ZPH the game. See, uh, see what that's like, you know. And um, pretty cool. And uh, so I don't know what what the story with this is. Um. Uh, wasn't that guy on the left? Uh, it's really a two-player game. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'm the guy on the left. Um, that ball is bouncing around. Um, uh, so... I don't know. Uh, when when the ball hits you, you you get a scar or something. I don't know. I don't understand it. Um. Well, when it hits her, it's now eleven. So we don't know. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, it's sort of like pong, I guess. Um. But every time the ball hits her, the scar goes up. It's now toward the end. So. Uh. I don't know. Um. That's that's just my it's only a euro, so I say it'd be a good two player game. Um it's definitely like Pong. Um But every time the ball hits her the scar goes up. Uh, so oh, I don't know. Um uh, So that's 
ZP hates so she turned into a cat. Uh, now the, sc the screen is flashing different colours, so we don't know what that means. Is it, does that mean the game's over? Um, I don't understand. Well, but, okay, look, look, Pong, I guess it's a two player game, and I think, this, I think whoever reaches 20 points wins. Uh, so that must make me the winner, I guess. Uh, she turned into a cat, and uh, we don't understand. Um, okay, she turned back into a human again. Um, uh, so okay, that's CPH the game. Um, uh, so every time the ball hits her, the scar goes up. Uh, so that was um, 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 winning 23 points to zero. There's a green bar there at the bottom. Uh, so. We oh, don't know. Um, uh, but only a euro. So, you know, I can't complain. Um, so that's CPH the game. So I'm going to. Um, so I've turned the ball here to her. Scar is going up. Um, okay, okay. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, dashboard. So, so that's that's a uh, ZPH the game. Um, confusing, but it's only a euro. I'm guessing it's Luke Pong. Uh, obviously, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna go back. So strike sound twenty six hundred. I'm gonna play that one. Uh, uh, a bowling game. Uh, so I'm just, just gonna launch it. Uh, this is my boy two indie devs, uh, two fellas. Uh, I just noticed. Um, so this is the bowling alley called Strike Sound Push Four. Okay, it's a one player game or a two player game. Uh, Two dollars for shoes. So, so that's me down the bottom. I have a bowling ball. Uh, okay. 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 You had to. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's bowling. Uh, okay, so I have to go guide the ball with the stick after you throw it. It's weird. Um, you press up and then you press the forward button and uh, okay, so you have to sort of guide it. Once you like, once you press the forward button, you have to sort of guide it. With the stick, uh, it's, it's hard to describe, you know. Uh, but I've gotten two points. I've gotten two pins, I guess. Uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, not bad, I guess. Um, if you're into bowling, um, yeah, I mean, uh, so if you press up on the stick, he throws a harder. Uh, if you press down the stick when you throw it, just, it throws it not as hard, I guess. Um, so, I don't know how I got it to go far at last time. It keeps going into the, um, into the, uh, side there, you know, so, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's strike sound on the 2600 for, uh, for Andy Terry VCS. Yeah. So, yeah. So you have to hold down the up. You have to hold down up on the D-pad and the forward button. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't. Um, I'm just guessing here. Uh, it's all about guiding it. It's it's hard to describe. You have to. Um, Yeah, so yeah, you, you sort of have to guide it. Or get, yeah, guide it is, is the best word. So I got 11 points. Uh, there's a men's room and a women's room, uh, uh, a rubbish bin. So, yeah, if if you like bowling, uh, you know, this would be a good two-player game. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's that's strike sound uh, uh, 2,600. Like, not bad, in my opinion, not bad. You know, I'm just going to go back to the dashboard. Like, not bad, not bad. And it's good that the um the Atari VCS is just getting this corner so partly. Uh, two fellas, Edward Smith and Kevin Mosley, you know. So this is awesome, people. And the Atari VCS, you know, it's going to get more and more games like this. So we've got RT7800. 
my boy Moody Vision. Uh, we'll see what this is like. So yeah, this is awesome in my opinion. And um, Atari 7800. Uh, Pokey Detected. Whatever that means. Some sort of chip, I guess. Um, Pokey? What's this? What's Pokey? <laughs> Moody Vision. So... Uh, sort of like uh, uh, Activision, except Moody Vision. So, uh, Archaeological Rescue Team International. Okay, let's just start it. It looks looks pretty good, like you know, in my opinion. En route to South America. Uh, okay, okay. So it's sort of like Hero. Hero was um um. An Activision game where the guy had a jetpack and had to use dynamite to blow up the wall. So yeah, it's it's just like Hero, except it's called Artie, you know. Um, uh, so pretty awesome in my opinion. If 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 you like Hero, I, I do like Hero. Uh, but um, I wonder how the these guys got away with this, you know, because um, Hero is a is a well known. Activision Classic and Moody Vision, and unless Moody Vision is a part of Activision, then uh, yeah, so uh, I, I, you have to rescue a, a, a um, stranded fellas just like hostages. Uh, uh, oh, blew myself up. <laughs> uh, so okay, so okay, uh, just like Hero. Uh, I blew myself up again by accident. Now normally in Hero he's got a laser gun that you can shoot those enemies but I don't know what um, all he has is done and we, we killed him. Okay so we, we, uh, we rescued the guy. So yeah this is just, uh, it has great graphics uh, but Hero I believe came on was on the Atari 7800 as well so that's just a question. How did the fellas who who made this game get away with this? Because uh, look, I said, look, Moody Vision um, has obviously got permission to uh, make this game. I guess I don't know. Uh, anyway, I uh, some in my opinion if you look hero, uh, but there's no laser gun or now it's uh, you just keep blowing myself up. Terribly sorry, old Ben, but we've just run out of a suits. Jolly good, Troy though. Okay, so yeah, that's it's really just hero, um, which is a good thing in my opinion. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go to um, options, uh, music. I, I don't have my speaker on at the moment. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's uh, great graphics in my opinion. Um, instructions. Um, uh, we say, old being how the devil are you? Uh, all that stuff. Um, what I need to know is. Do, do I have a laser gun? Um, uh, oh, there you go. Uh, uh, moving around. Uh, up, activate the jetpack and get to where you are. Left and right to fly, left and right. It's all jolly uh, intuitive. Um, um, Oh, here we go. Uh, activate the laser with button one. Okay. Uh, okay. And the laser comes out of his head. Oh, I got, I got that right. So the laser comes out of his head uh, instead of coming out of a gun. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm gonna try that again. You know. Uh, so yeah. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just hard. It's just hard. We can see the layers are coming out of his head. It's just harder to see, you know, uh, because of the grey background and stuff. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, uh, hero. Uh, well, it's, it's called Arty, but it's really hero. Um, uh, <laughs> I keep blowing myself up by accident. Oh, okay. So yeah, okay. Um. Well, so that's um that's uh, Artie and the um Artie seventy eight hundred on the um Atari VCS. Yeah, so, so far, the the best game out of the bunch of of so far, you know. So okay, uh, 
I'm going to go back to the uh, now XO seventy eight hundred a game by Muddy, Muddy Vision and XO stands for Elite Xeno Operations. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, it's probably like a, a, spa a shooter, a spaceship shooter, or something like that. Um, Pokey detected and used. What's a Pokey thing? Atari Age. So yeah, Atari Age. Um, you know, Muddy Vision is definitely a part of them. Um, Atari Age. And so yeah, I mean that's awesome that we're getting support. Uh, it elite seeing our operations. Okay, uh, you know, looks good. You know, uh, launch um, veterinary. Okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, so some sort of um spaceship shooter, I guess. Uh, yeah, um. Desert World, uh, okay, so it's a platformer, but you're a spaceship, um, okay, I just killed myself, uh, so, uh, okay, so you have rockets, and you have, uh, normal, um, so, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool, um, oop, keep, keep doing there, uh, and, uh, Okay, uh, so yeah, it's a platforming game, platforming game, except your 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 spaceship. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool in my opinion. Um, uh, oh, keep doing by accident there. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool in my opinion. And you know, again, it's great that the Atari PCS is getting the sort of support. <laughs> I keep doing. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, but yeah, pretty pretty cool in my opinion. Um. Yeah, this and Arty are definitely the best out of the bunch so far. Um, uh, so yeah, you know, it's all about timing your your movements and shooting stuff, and uh, pretty cool in my, in my opinion. Um, it looks great, and um, uh, well, the the great news about this is it's I say getting this game is cheaper on the Atari VCS. Uh, we assume that. The, the fellas that made this game made it on cartridge because uh, back in the day Atari had sold a lot of games like this uh, for the 7800 and the 2600 so again it's great that um, uh, Atari Age are putting these games on the Atari PCS it's, it's a win-win for everybody so it's good it's good I know and uh, yeah definitely a good game in my opinion um, uh, so it's all about Timing your movements and stuff, so yeah, pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, uh, it's gonna be tricky. Uh, um, there was one handed, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, de definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, good game, in my opinion. Uh, so here comes enemies and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that that's um, uh, XO. 7800 so this is definitely um a good game in my opinion uh just look at some sort of computer screen uh i don't know what that does it did something it probably, it probably activated um a wall or something like that so yeah this is pretty good in my opinion um i, I, I don't know if we go up or, go, or do we go down i'm gonna go up um yeah okay uh ooh. and these jokes are gonna go up yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah, um, not bad, not bad in my opinion. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back to the uh, the dashboard, you know. So yeah, pretty cool. And um, pretty cool, pretty cool. XO seven J hundred. So yeah, pretty pretty good. Uh, I I so yeah, that look in my opinion. Um, how the games we've, we've played XO and Arty are definitely worth uh playing in my opinion. Uh, uh. Uh, strike sound 2600 if you like bowling yeah go for it it'd, it'd be a kill cool two player game whereas this one it's like ZPH it's like uh, Pong or something so uh, you have to have a second player to play this game but it's only a euro so yeah well, it's nothing to lose now Game Panic 3 this is uh, John Hancock yeah, the, fam the famous YouTuber so yeah, this this is his third game that he, that he's released on the Atari VCS. So I say fair play to him. Keep 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 uh, releasing the games, you know. 
so this is 279 and they're gonna play it now see what it's like uh so yeah the john hancock the, the, the immortal uh, john hancock you know so okay so game panic three um you play as John Hancock's head and you have an, an NES character above your head. Um or don't uh, so that's me down the bottom there, that's John Hancock. Um uh, you have a whole bunch of stuff on the screen. Um uh, you can you can duck, uh, you can go up here, uh uh okay so i don't understand what i'm supposed to do um that uh cartridge i have to get that yeah okay the scar went up to 90 uh uh there's all sorts of stuff on the screen uh we avoid that i guess um uh, so I have that cartridge. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Hundred and forty. So it's, it's all to do with that cartridge. Uh, uh, Hundred and forty. Um, uh, uh, yeah, you, you can duck. Uh, you can. Uh, okay, uh, so, okay, I'm on some sort of lift, lift, uh, I don't, I have a scar of a hundred, so it has something to do with that game cartridge, uh, uh, every time I get that, I get a, my scar goes up, now I'm, I don't know what's going on, um, Like I'm on ladders and stuff. Um, okay, 330. So I'm doing something right, you know. Um, 380, I'm in some sort of uh, area. Um, I don't. Uh, so every time I grab those cartridges, my scar goes up. Um, uh, so yeah, this is Ga Game Panic Three. Um, uh, we don't. Uh, uh, so man, so there's a lift on the side. Um, I'm guessing all those yokes are enemies. <laughs> um, uh, Okay, so this is a, this is a lift. We uh, there's there's an NES cartridge. Um, so the game's over, is it? Well, far ninety. Okay, so um, again, okay, not bad. No, like for for too far to know, not bad. But you know, it's uh, it's okay. Uh, game Panic Three. Well. Oh, Okay, not bad, not bad. Not, not, I'm not um, totally understanding what you have to do. It's something to do with that cartridge anyway, so... Um, uh, but, not bad, I guess. Uh, I, here's a demo. Uh, so, you you get the cartridges and you have to take them to areas. That's the best way you can explain it. Uh, and those yokes are enemies trying to stop you. So yeah, that's that's it. I think yeah, you, you play as John Hancock, and you have to get those NES characters to the right place. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think I think I'm right there. So not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, in my opinion, uh, uh, two forty nine. Yeah, uh, any more than that. Personally, we wouldn't pay any more than that. Uh, it's just. Um, we we'll just uh, we just think Arty and um, uh, EXO are, are better games than this, but that's just my opinion. But then again, this is uh, two forty nine. Um, uh, in, in my opinion, um, the 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 other two games that John Hancock made, uh, uh, 
uh, hold on, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to go back to the um, dashboard, and I'm going to show you the, the other two games that John, ha John Hancock made, so, Game Panic 3, not bad in my opinion, um, it's 279, but I wouldn't pay any more than that for uh, uh, that's just me, uh, um, so anyway, yeah, Game Panic 3, not bad in my opinion, uh, uh, now, like I said, if 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 the game was more than two seven nine, I probably wouldn't buy it. But we lose a part in the uh, indie devs and stuff because they they they're, they're making the Atari VCS a uh, great system. So we got to show most a part to them. So yeah, awesome in my opinion. You know, like, if a game is is out now, terrible. We'll, 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 we'll tell people about it. Um. But uh, so yeah, I mean, awesome stuff. Uh, more games to come. You know. Uh. Uh, so uh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, so the next, the next big game is yeah. So um, Tour Tracks and Daredevil Twenty Six Hundred. They're multi vision games as well, uh, which are Atari. Yeah. So that's awesome in my opinion. Um, Boy Lab Wars. You got look ton, tons of games and there's more to come. Uh, but I'm trying to find the the other two games that John Hancock made. Yeah, here we go. Um. Retro Game Quest, that's uh, John Hancock as well. Uh, and we have um, Catacombs of Chaos 2600 by John Hancock as well. So, in my opinion, um, Game Park Tree is on par with these games. Uh, it's not better or worse, it's on par, you know. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, boy, I mean, just, uh, nothing to lose. Um, the, the main reason we we bought it is because we we uh, want to support indie devs and uh, game put people that make games for the VCS. Cause it's it's a win win for everybody and that's important. But me personally, I wouldn't pay any more than two seventy nine unless it's really really good. Uh, we'll, we'll just like seventy eight hundred graphics better than twenty six hundred graphics. That's but uh, but in my opinion, out of the games, they're RT seventy eight hundred XO seventy eight hundred. Are the best in my opinion. So yeah, I hope that um I hope everyone has a good day. The Atari, the Atari VCS is awesome, and there's gonna be more games to come, like you know. And uh, yeah, it's great that Atari Age and all these indie devs that support the Atari VCS, and we'll we'll, we'll support them back, you know. Because uh, the more games, the better. And uh, yeah, brilliant, 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 brilliant stuff. So yeah, um. And as long as, as the prices are, are, are affordable, people avoid them. It's just as simple as that. And uh, uh, like I said, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, the entire VCS is awesome. There's going to be more games to come. And like I said, it's it's a win-win for everybody. So yeah, uh, I hope everyone has a, a good day. Take care, all the best, and bye-bye.